Hey, I'm Bruce Cook and uh, making uh, another little fun pepper eating video. Um, I mentioned in the last uh, couple videos I made that I had shipped out some of my super hot peppers to a couple of professional paintball players. Uh, that would be Ryan Greenspan and Kyle Spica. Uh, Ryan Greenspan uh, does live streams on his YouTube channel as well as posting other uh, paintball related videos. Um, and uh, lately they have done some uh, crazy food challenges including uh, um, spicy stuff. They did the peanut brittle challenge not too long ago. Um, I thought they did pretty well in that. Um, and then uh, they did the uh, pepper challenge. So I had sent them four pre-metalli peppers. Uh, Kai, or, uh, Ryan on his uh, Instagram asked me uh, for the hottest peppers I had. So uh, he asked for the hottest, I gave him the hottest. And that's the pre-metalli peppers. And if you've seen some of my previous videos when I ate them, uh, the pre-metalli for the first time, um, I said that I felt the Prima Tally was the, by far the hottest pepper I have ever eaten, including, uh, being much hotter than the Carolina Reaper pepper. And I've eaten some pretty hot Carolina Reapers. Reapers that were, uh, came from plants that were grown from seeds that had been, uh, gotten, uh, directly from Ed Curry's, uh, uh, company, Puckerbutt Pepper Company. He is the man who uh, created the Carolina Reaper. I think it was like 2012 or 2013. That's uh, when it uh, made it into the Guinness Book of World Records as the spiciest pepper, clocking in at uh, uh, an average of anywhere between 1.5 million Scoville heat units to, uh, they can peak up to 2.2. Um, these primatales, however, are, uh, I've heard the minimal heat is 2.2. I haven't uh, seen anybody or found anywhere that uh, said the minimal heat is any less than that and I've seen people uh, Put up. I don't know if it's true or not, but post that these can peak at 2.6 um, I don't know if that was actually tested or if it was somebody's guess based on you know the burn they got but uh, I can tell you firsthand at least to me the Prima Tally is quite a bit hotter than the Carolina Reaper It's hotter than chocolate bootla um, Those are the next two hottest peppers I've ever had I mean, I've had the scorpion peppers, the seven pot primos, which are pretty darn spicy, but um, nothing came close to these primatellis. But anyways, uh, I thought since I tortured them with my peppers, uh, they did the challenge last night, December 28th, um, and uh, it, uh, the peppers I sent them uh, really took them for a ride. So um, I thought since I did that to them, um, I would uh, uh, eat another primatelli just to make up for it. Um, I was just maintaining my plants and this Prima Tally uh, fell off my plant. It's full, almost fully ripened. There's a little tiny bit of green left. But just like the last Prima Tally I ate, um, this thing should pack uh, quite a bit of heat still. So, and I prepped my stomach right before I ate this. I had to have lunch anyways. I had a couple of slices of thin crust pizza. Uh, of course, you know, covered with uh, Carolina Reaper sauce. Because I got to have Carolina Reaper on everything. So this is... Uh, Pepper Fuego's, uh, what are they, what does he call it, um, Reaper Bite. This sauce is 85% uh, Carolina Reaper Pepper. It's pretty much almost a mash sauce. So 85% of the volume in this is nothing but pure Reaper material. So uh, that's how I prepped my stomach. Uh, pizza with Carolina Reaper smeared all over it. But anyways, uh, uh, here you go. I can, I can taste a little bit in it that's unripe. You get a bitter taste. Waiting for the heat. Oh, here's the heat. Okay. Not too bad. Just chewing it up early. Want to get as much flavor out of this as possible. I didn't try to get all the uh, capsaicin release out of that pepper in my mouth, so... I still have it. We'll spread it all around so I can get the best burn I can. So, all right, that's swallowed. So, yep, the uh, the heat's coming on. It's climbing. I'm at uh, just above a one right now. So we'll see uh, how high this can climb. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have uh, this Friday off, so I'll be going to. Uh, the indoor paintball facility I work at, Wildfire Paintball in uh, Snellville. I'll be uh, I'll be playing uh, most of the day, and I'm gonna try to get some game footage. And I'll be uh, posting that video up. Um, 
I ain't gonna be too much else. I got nothing to do for New Year's. I still have a lot of fireworks left over from, uh, it's actually, I bought them, uh, I think it was last New Year's, and I used, uh, some of them, you know, just to have fun on the 4th of July this year, and I still have a bunch of them left, so I don't need to get more, uh, fireworks up, so I'll probably be doing that Saturday, uh, uh, January 1st, 2022. Um, ain't too much else, uh, I have going on. So, um, and I'll, I'll tell you, I was when I was maintaining the plants earlier, um, I discovered there was still a lot of aphids on them. Like, I thought I killed off uh, all of them uh, again when I, you know, hit them up with neem oil recently. After I discovered, you know, all the leaves had fallen, half the leaves fall, fell off my plants, and I found, like, tens of thousands of aphids on there. Um, after spraying, after uh, spraying them with neem oil a couple of days later, um, it looked like all the bodies of those uh, aphids had dried up. They were just sitting on the plants. Uh, so today I uh, got around to uh, first spraying off uh, these plants one by one. I, I pulled them away from the wall, got them one, uh, one at a time to spray off all the uh, dead aphids. I heard another pepper grower on YouTube say that even the dead bodies of those aphids, if left on the leaves and uh, stems, it could still uh, cause disease. So I had to spray uh, all my plants down uh, with water, all the leaves thoroughly. And then after that, I uh, went back over it with uh, some fresh neem oil. So I'm really hoping uh, these aphids can just go away for a while so my plants can heal. I'm still, I'm still finding uh, new peppers uh, popping up here and there on some of my plants. Um, so it looks like, you know, the plants are uh, just uh, barely managing to put out a flower here and there. But... It ain't nothing like when I first brought these plants in when there was like, like probably a couple hundred flowers on these plants. And these aphids uh, ruining everything. But yeah, today I found there was a lot of live aphids on them again. So I was spraying water on the leaves and stuff and I noticed, you know, the aphids on my hand. And they weren't just dead aphids. They were live, fresh, minty, green colored aphids crawling on my hand. So that took me almost an hour because I had to be very thorough. Because uh, I put too much work into these plants for uh, it to be a loss, you know, just because these little dipshit aphids want to, uh, you know, hitchhike, you know, on my plants as I'm bringing them indoors and then wreak havoc, you know. We have plenty of vegetation outside. Why do they got to pick up my plants? Like, tell them to go grow their own pepper plants and chew on them. <laughs> oh, the, uh, uh, the heat never went past the one for me. Uh, it was hot, but... I mean, I'm used to these things. I don't know how to prep my stomach, so um, I know how to ingest these safely. Um, I, I think I heard them mention on the video, they thought that uh, that peppers or capsaicin can cause uh, ulcers. I've done a bit of research on that, and uh, that is totally a myth. Um, you hear it from other uh, avid pepper eaters, and uh, we're doing research on uh, Google and all that. Uh, capsaicin is just an irritant, okay? That's why if you get, a, like, pepper oil on your arm or something or on your skin, you might end up with a little, uh, uh, like, a little rash-looking thing uh, that might burn a little bit. You know, it you know, feels like it burns in the mouth. Same thing goes on your stomach. It goes in your stomach. Um, it can irritate your stomach. If you ingest uh, enough capsaicin, like, a lot of it, which you can consider an overdose, technically... It'd be an overdose if you end up, uh, like, um, having side effects like tears, snotting, uh, all that stuff. That's con that's technically considered an overdose on something. Doesn't mean it's deadly, but the capsaicin, when you end up with those horrible stomach cramps from uh, ingesting too much spicy uh, foods, uh, those, stomach cr those debilitating stomach cramps is simply, uh, from what I've heard uh, doing some research, is uh, um, it's irritating your stomach and causing your, causing your stomach con to contract. Before I learned that, I described my uh, horrible capsaicin cramp experiences as uh, my stomach not only burning but being crushed, being squeezed. So after I, heard, I uh, read up on that, that it uh, makes the muscles contract because it's irritating them. And it kind of makes sense why I, you know you'd feel that. But it will not cause ulcers. There's nothing about capsaicin that would cause ulcers in the stomach. Now, uh, for my research, if you have ulcers already, then you are risking serious injury because capsaicin being an irritant, getting on like a sore in your stomach, an ulcer, 
uh, you know, that's going to irritate it. And the an ulcer is not something that, you know, you want getting irritated. That can cause serious injury. Uh, but it does not cause, uh, it actually cause ulcers. Uh, well, anyways, I just wanted to clear that up. And uh, um, uh, for those who might uh, be watching this that watch the uh, live stream with Ryan Greenspan, um, as we said, these are Primatelli peppers. If you go on Google and you look up what a Primatelli looks like, you're going to notice the Primatellis are going to look way bigger than these little things that I sent uh, Ryan and what I just ate. And that is because if, uh, if you haven't watched my, any of my recent videos when I uh, talked about this, um, when these aphids uh, uh, started wreaking havoc on my plants, it was uh, shortly, like two, three weeks after I brought them inside, half of my leaves died off my plants and fell off. And uh, there, all the peppers that were uh, already on the plant but were baby-sized peppers, like, you know, the size that uh, you guys seen on the live stream, um, after all those leaves fell off, the peppers uh, stopped growing in size. They, uh, they continued to uh, mature and ripen. Um, they turned out they were still good peppers, but uh, they would not grow in size anymore. I have videos, uh, a couple videos of me eating primatelles at the full size ones. Um, you'll see, and you'll see in the videos that I have the uh, um, those full size primatelles were hanging on the same plant that these same peppers I sent to Ryan and uh, uh, Kyle. So those are primatelles. It's just they were. Uh, um, the growth were stunted, but anyways, uh, as, like I said, I just want to make a fun little pepper eating video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, I'll be, uh, posting up, uh, some, uh, game footage playing paintball, uh, this Friday. So, until then, Happy New Year's, stay safe out there, and catch you next time.